All right, you guys ready for a road trip? Yeah! yeah! Too bad we're going anyways. Well guys, welcome to Emerald Isle, North Carolina, the southern portion of the Outer Banks. Me and the family, we're gonna be here for about a week. You guys excited? Yeah! Yeah! Well, Becca's parents drove down and joined us for the week, and uh, we're gonna go with them and do a little walk on the beach here. Nathan! No, Nathan! Nathan, come here. You told them not to get wet. Less than five minutes, they got wet. All right, come on, boys. Yeah, I think, I think we got enough food. That's a good looking plate right there. Look at that. Well, I better get these kids to bed because we got to get up super early tomorrow. We're going fishing. I'll see you guys then. You can't pull up your pants. Oh. Well, good morning. Buddy, good morning. Good, good, doing well. Good to see you again. Yes, Can you help us? Woohoo! All right, guys, we're back with Tombstone Charters and Captain Jared. Me and Tommy went with him and had a bang up time uh, earlier this year. So we're back at it again and we're going to go try to catch anything that bites. jogging for about an hour and here in a beautiful little spot out in the middle of the ocean we're just slow trolling for king mackerel here and this time of year they tend to be in schools so if we hit one there's a real good chance we're gonna hit a couple of them if you're gonna barf do it on camera you gotta be like aunt melanie and say click subscribe after you throw up <laughs> you do look like you're doing a little better Nate. Right, Nate. You want, you, want, you want to hold it or you want to put it in the rod holder, Nate? Oh, that's a real fish, bud. You got it. Oh, Almacos. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Look at that. Okay. You, you, you feel better, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to tell the difference between an Almaco jack and a small amberjack. The key is right there. Right there, that little bone right there. If it's flat and straight across, it's an Almaco jack. If it curls up, flips up, it's an amberjack. I'm busting out my uh, Catfish and Carp Signature Series rods here, and we're gonna try jigging for some Amberjack with them. Grass all over the place. Uh, oh. take right here, that's a lizard fish. Look at the teeth on him. Oh, there we go. Tommy's been out cold for a while, and as soon as I pick up a lizard fish, he just bolts up and goes, lizard fish! As much as I hate to give up our secret awesome lizard fish spot, we are gonna go try for something else here. We're gonna move spot. We're gonna see what we can do here. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, you running on him? No, he's diving down. Yeah, hold on to my belt, Dave, and keep me from going in. Oh, I'm working you now, sucker! <laughs> Man, nice, that's a nice yeah, Almaco. Look at that, that is a beautiful Almaco Jack. Oh, probably a shark, I have experience. The world's smallest you got vermilion snapper. Two of them. Two. That's a double, Tommy. Yeah, let's yeah. see what we got. Cigar minnow. Cigar minnow, I think. Look at that. I'd eat that if I was an amberjack. Yeah. Let's go do some bottom fishing. Let's do it. Uh, All right, guys, we move spots and we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna bottom fish with some bait. We got little chunks of false albacore tuna here. Got little high-low rigs, little double rig number. Snappers, groupers, I mean, everything loves to eat these little chunks of meat. And, uh, All right, Tom, come here, bud. Oh, oh, no. oh, I got one too. Come here, Nate. Come on. We're not here 30 seconds and we got a double. What you got? A bank bass. A bank bass. That's oh, that's pretty. Fish. I think that's that's your biggest bank bass. I think you have a good fight. Oh, you got, I think you got a little black bass, maybe? Bass. 
Yep, they've got to be 13 inches. I don't want them go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, so we've got fake still. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm big mess. Yeah. Oh, look, he's angry. He, he's like, look at those angry eyes. How do you say daddy? Got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, can I do it? I just you want to do it? I you want to hold it? Oh, go for it. That's daddy. fighting. Nathan, oh. Nathan, Nathan, over here. Yeah. We got boys cranking to the left of me. We got boys cranking to the right of me. Look at, look at that Ooh. snapper. The vermilion snapper. Oh, yeah. he's got a V liner. Yes. Look at him. Oh, double trouble! You got him, yes sir! Pretty work! There, you got him, see that big hooker? Uh, yeah. so we're going to eat well. Hi, oh, hi. Hi. These are beautiful. Eat well. Keep working them, Tom. I think you got a good one too. Yeah. Oh yeah, another double! The double. Look there. You give it a jerk, we kind of leave it there. And let oh! The... Now that yeah, is yeah, there that it is. There he is! Yeah, you got him! Alright, Tom. Look at that. Oh! oh yes. There he is, there he is, real body. Oh, yeah, there you go, 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 Dave. Dave. Yeah. Oh, oh, son of a oh, good. Yeah, we still got it. It's just shorter. Oh, oh man. You want me to help you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, hold the camera. I got you. I'm, I'm landing in a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick this you in the holder. Oh, yeah, I just got two bees. Dude, they're huge. Look at the size of them. Look at the teeth marks on that one, though. That looks like grouper marks on that on that other one though. Did I did? Look at that right there. Oh yeah. That's yeah. What he's got right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, big, it's other big. Oh, Those are big bee liners. I, I think. We'll... I think we got a grouper down there though. <laughs> my, my rod. <laughs> oh. Wait, All right, really... guys, check out the new sawed-off version of the catfish and carp special. It's uh, pretty much the same rod with a shorter handle for those who like uh, kind of more like a one-handed number. Yeah, it comes with a detachable fish bonker. Alright, let me go ahead. Alright, buddy, you ready? You guys are just a good place. Oh, look at that. Got him? Got oh. him! I want to see a grouper. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, boy! Oh, look at go, that. Go, go, go! Yeah, I want to see the grouper. Go, I always want to see the grouper. Go, go, daddy. Daddy, go, bottom. go, yeah. daddy, nice. daddy. Nice. daddy. Is that a grouper? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, like a yes, sir. Dude. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Woo! Get some of that. <laughs> That's a gag grouper, right? That is a gag no, grouper. Remora. That's oh yeah. Look at the baby remora. Oh, the little. Why you pick him up? Put him back in the water. Oh, I always want to touch your remora. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's my first grouper. What a way to start, man! I jumped in the deep end of the pool. Yeah. Woo! What a fish. Look at the teeth on him. Ooh. Look at those fangs. Can we ah. eat grouper? Oh yes we can. <laughs> let me, let's eat it. Right. We've caught a lot of pretty crazy fish on these catfish and carp rods. I've been wondering for over the year what it would take to break one. So now we know. Two big uh, bee liners and uh, like a big grouper. Oh, buddy. Get oh, there oh we, go. we got one over here. Monkeys. Oh, let's yeah. see Look at that one, man. That's a stud. Oh, that's giant. Dude, those are big. Whew. That is a beautiful snapper. Yeah, you get two of them on there, they definitely gonna pull it like that. Oh. That's a nice one. Okay, just gonna make it. You go, Daisy, you got one? We got the Holy mackerel. <laughs> Look at this bucket of fish. Holy snapper. <laughs> Holy snapper. Keep going, Nate. Don't stop till you get off. enough. Or just pull them into the boat. Why don't you flip them in the boat? Nathan, oh, yeah. okay. you got a big one? Yeah, I think I have a shark hook. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, I can see him. I can see him. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's a fat nice one. one. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Look at the muscle on that guy. Oh, he... oh have one, have one. Got one. Tommy's got, got one. one. Got one, got one. <laughs> oh, oh. Not that Tommy, that's a nice one. Here. Here. Oh, yeah. nice. check him out. Beautiful. Look, these are awesome. Double bees. Yeah. All right, we're going to probably hold on to this one. Okay. Yeah, I think we might need to do an inventory. <laughs> we might have to. Let's get out of them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. 18, 19. <laughs> Do I have any fishermen here that can help us catch our last vermilion snappers? Me? 
Don't, thank you. Thank you, Me. young man. Yes, Me. yes, sir. Well, we're gonna drift back over that spot and get another piece of that action. Tom's ripping in the snapper. What'd you, what'd you catch, Tom? Oh, that's a pretty fish. Look at yeah. that thing. Okay. That looks like a grouper bait it? to me. Yep. Oh, there's an enormous sea turtle right there. Go get oh, look at the size of that guy. Nathan, you can surf on that guy. It's in color. What is it? Oh. It's oh, oh, look at that. Do you what? know what that is, Nathan? <laughs> a shark just bit your fish in half. Sure did. Look at that. Get the shark Actually, he's still him. alive. That's white bone porgy. Yeah. He has been half deboned. Nathan, you had a shark on. Oh, no mercy fish. Okay, this one can we keep? That is a beefcake. Nathan, Nathan, come on, on, on Mike. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Grouper bait right there. Ooh. Oh, like look it. at this. I also think that looks like grouper bait. Uh. <laughs> Got a beehive. Uh. Oh, I saw Ooh. a shark. You saw I a saw shark? shark. Bank bass, yeah. Bait bass. We'll probably turn this into some bait too. Yeah. Double trouble. You like it? Is that a bee? It looks so little... It's American red. American red snapper? American red snapper. All right, he's out of season, so he's yeah. going back. Yeah, little guy. Now what is this thing? That is a a grunt or tom tate. Tom tate. Yeah, but that, it's a grunt. That's called grouper bait right there. Grouper bait. Let's go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Little, 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 little baby. A yeah. little baby bee fell out. Yeah. Come here. Oh, I see color. Oh, looks like a nice bee liner and a big bass. It's been a good day when you release a new big one. Yes, it is. Good problem. Oh, look at this. Double, double bees. Yeah. Oh. Turn them loose. Yeah, we got so much. And David's got some more on over there. Yes, he does. This is like our 50th vermilion snapper or something out here. What else? Oh, look at this. As fast as we can do it. What you got? Oh, you got a vermilion snapper there. Got plenty of those. Holy I'm not like There we go. Oh, that's a nice one too. Nice <laughs> Even real. <laughs> we get some probably a big I can get him a show gun. So cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David, you can do it. Oh, yeah, look at the car. That looks like a jack. I was, it's jack. I mean, it could be. What do you think? You're all big. Jack, look buddy. at that. Is that even bigger than dad's? Uh, that is a great jack. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. I think that one might even be bigger than dad's. That's bigger than mine. That's yeah, it's bigger than yours. That's bigger than mine. I, I I that that is short. another I massive like, jack. That is awesome. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Look at yeah. that. American red. Look at those. Look, look. Tom, that's your first American red yeah. snapper. That's, that's big. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, you can see they got a little bit. It's a nice snapper right there. Nice red, American red snapper. See ya. Look at that. He's black. Oh, my oh, goodness. I stole my face. Dude, I have two gills. my face. Look at this double. Oh, look at that. Double. Oh, look at that little Amico Jack. I got, yeah. I, I got three Amico Jacks. Yeah, you are the Amico Jack king. <laughs> Guys, was that fun? Yeah. Did we catch like a bazillion fish? Yes. yes. <laughs> I have no idea how many fish we caught and I didn't film all of them. There was a lot of them that just got in and out before I could get the camera over. Well, you think we're going to eat good fish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, we're going to. I'm gonna... probably going to barf after I eat all that. Yeah, you're going to barf after you eat all those fish? Yeah, because we're stuffed so full. The fish we just Yeah, I think so we got full. more than one meal's worth. Well, we got to go take these back to shore and clean them up and uh, we're going to do some cooking. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, you ready to head back? Yeah. You want me to join you? Yeah. All right, I'm coming. Ah. Oh, that is comfy. Pretty work. I'm like, 
A lot of fish. Look at this pile of fish. Holy mackerel. <laughs> 37 pounds minus two pounds for the basket, so that's 35. 35 pounds. Yeah. That is that's a lot of little bass and snapper. Yeah, that's great. Caught these hands over fist and caught some jacks on light tackle and yeah. Yeah, it's good times. Alright guys, every time I see one of these guys cleaning fish, you always look at their fillet knives. There's a million different types of fillet knives on the market, but everybody who does this a lot uses the Dexter Russells. Occasionally they'll go with the Bubba knives. Yeah, it's like you've done this before. A couple times. A couple times. Yeah. They're delicious. Wahoo steak. 17, four, three ounces. That's right. You're paying a good piece for that at the market too. Yes, you will. 12.4. 12.4. Grand total 73 pounds of fish. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back at the house and uh, we're going to cook up some of that fish. I'm feeling like fish tacos. It's Big piece of gag grouper right there. Sure. A little jalapeno cilantro sauce, avocado, a little mango salsa. Not too shabby. Like that? Yep. Tommy and Nathan are both citing injuries and medical issues to avoid eating it though. So, no. you know. So you want some fish tacos? I can put it in your mouth for you. Well, it's another early morning and me and Jacob are going fishing. Oh, yeah. We're back here with Tombstone's Charters and we're gonna go for another day here. And this time we're gonna let little Jacob have a go at it. He cried a little bit when Nate and Tom got to go fishing and he got left behind, but not today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You excited to catch some fish? We're just cruising along and see a bunch of porpoises. Go down. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. Right there. Wow. That was way cool. Get a fishing trip and a free whale watching tour all in one. We're gonna drop down one of the little snapper rigs, see what Jacob can catch, and uh, anything little. We're gonna put on a grouper rig, drop down and try to catch another grouper. Maybe a shark, amberjack, who knows? All righty. Look at that. Yeah, I ain't sure that. Just... We got a black bass and a baby bee. Oh, that's a good, good, that's a keeper black bass. Jacob, look, you caught that. Good job, buddy. Put this one in here. Yeah, put him in there. You can high five, bud. You're, You're off to a good man. start. Good Whoa, look at that. I need help. You need help? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Uh, what do you got? You got a trigger fish on a jig. He's good. Jack, I think. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. That is a nice vermilion snapper. Look at that, big guy. Whoa. Is this pretty cool, Jacob? Yeah. Oh, look at that. A bait liner. A bait liner, yeah. There you go. Jake's a little like his brothers. He gets a little pale when the boat starts moving. So he's tired. We're gonna put him on the bean bag, let him rest a little bit. There we go. 
Oh yeah, those triggers are good eating fish. There we go, nice bee liner. Yep. White bone porgy. That's the same fish Nathan caught that got bit in half by the yes. shark. Yep, yep, very good eating. He munched my fish. That's a decent one. Yeah, look at this. We are off to a roaring start. Yeah. Oh, that is a chunky guy. Look at this. We are tearing up the black bass. Let's help you. Another nice trigger fish. We are doing good in the bait department. Yeah. Old Dig's taking it easy. My, my live bait ain't so live anymore. He had his face bitten off. Well, he caught a lot of black bass and trigger fish and some vermilion snapper. Not a bad spot at all, but it's cooling off a little bit, so we're gonna go try another spot. Go black bass. Yeah. Oh, a little cigar minnow, I think. Woo. He is smaller than my lure. Yep. Oh, that cigar minnow didn't last long. Oh, it's a grouper. A little undersized. That's yeah, a pretty thing. That feels good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that feels good. Woo! Another big one. Look at that sucker. Beautiful fish. Well, that was good. We're going to go try another spot. Shine. That's a big one, too. Slab snapper right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. That's pretty right there. It just doesn't take long. I mean, you're just getting hits within five seconds of being on the bottom where you're doing something wrong. Nice color. Oh yeah. Wow. Snapper, so pretty. Hi bud. Hi buddy. Well, is that a crazy looking eel? Yeah. Yeah, they got teeth with teeth inside of teeth. Oh yeah. Yeah, you like that? Big old vermilion snapper. Oh. Is that cool? You want to catch one? Or you just want to watch? Well, yeah, you're going to get to watch as much as you want. <laughs> oh, that, that is a big one. Beautiful. Here we go. Beautiful. Massive chunk of albacore. Oh, yeah. How are we doing on bees? Look at that guy. That is a big boy. That's a basket of fish, isn't it, Jake? gorgeous spot. We're going to see what we can catch. Oh, look at this. That's different. Ringtail. Ringtail porgy. Tasty. Yeah. porgy. You tasty. Oh, it's a black bass. They are yummy, but he's too little. Oh, oh. That's a grouper. That is a grouper. Oh, look at that. That is a grouper. Look at that. Another gag grouper. Whoa, whoa. Another grouper, not a big. Ooh. Oh, there, another grouper. Look at this, number six. Well, guys, it has been an awesome day. But I think it's time to get back to shore. We have tore up the fish again. Hey Jake, did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah, good time. Good. I'm right, glad you came. Hey. I've heard that a lot of people. Oh. Did you catch that one? No, my dad did. Oh, nice. That's a good fish. I'll grab it. Oh. It's a massive fish. Look at them, beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is a pile of fish right there. Six pounds. Six pounds. Get out, these are the trigger fish. I've had more than one person tell me that this is their favorite fish to eat around here. A lot of people like them, don't they? They do. They do. Excellent meat. 
A lot of people describe them as scallops. They look kind of like a scallop. Firm meat, kind of a sweet white meat. We're keeping some of these carcasses for shark fishing later. Can't remember. Wait, you were right, 12 pounds. Jared, man, we had such a good time. Thank yes, you sir. again. If you guys are ever down Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, and you want to do this, check out Tombstone Charters, and I'll put a link down in the video description below. It's awesome, man. I can't wait to do it again. Right on. Yes, sir. Me too. Well, that was pretty awesome. Oh, I'm so tired, but I've got a nice grouper taco here. I got my lovely wife, and all of this here is my scenery. Hopefully just sitting here and enjoying the view a little bit will give me some energy. Well, we've only got one hour before the sun sets and uh, me and Jake decided that we are going to go surf fishing. Don't know if we'll catch anything, but it's too gorgeous not to try. Look at that. Just a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful day. I'm getting to hang out with my boy. All right, Tom, reel in and see if we got a little fish on there. You got two! Tommy, you have a double! <laughs> there we go. Release. You want to do the release? All right. I want to do the release Here. both of them. Here. Oh. Hi, All I'm right. your son. Drop him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. There we go, another little one. Hold on, grab it, grab it, Tom, grab it. It's a, oh. it's a shark. The shark. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Okay, real, 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 Tom. I can't. I gotta hold on to this rod or I'm gonna lose my rod. Oh, this is a strong shark. Hold it, hold it tight, Tom. I'm <laughs> a little ways off, but we should see him soon. Get up, get him up, Tom. Don't let it go down. Oh! Pull it up, pull it up. Oh, he's big, Tom. Oh, that's a big stingray, Tom. <laughs> Jared, watch out for the stingray. Oh, that's the barb. That's the size, look at the size of his barb. Whoa. Okay, step on his tail. Oh, all right, he's unhooked. What the? Okay, what? Oh, that is like a 30 pound stingray. It is huge. Oh, there he goes. To Tommy, was that cool? Yes. I got, I won because I got more fish than you. <laughs> you sure did. I, I thought it was like Jaws. It's pretty late and I'm not sure how we're gonna top that. So we're gonna pack it up, go home. We got a lot of fishing to do tomorrow. Mm, it is a beautiful low key day today. Getting the kids dressed, got them fed. We're gonna do some sightseeing stuff here in the morning and in the afternoon, we've got some pretty exciting fishing we're gonna do. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. All right, out of the car, you maniacs. Ah! Ah! All right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to Fort Macon. This is near where Blackbeard the Pirate crashed his ship. We don't have much. Oh, look at this cannon. So yeah. Look at this. These are all the different shells on the beach. And surf has been popular ever since. It's a microscope. Tommy, look. It's my finger. Look at the boogers under that fingernail. Here, let's look at Daddy's gross fingernails. Oh, oh. oh that. It's an oven for making a hot shot. You would heat up the cannonballs red hot and then shoot them at ships and light them on fire.
door. This is the best vacation ever. <laughs> well, we're back at the house and we're hungry. So we're gonna make some fish sandwiches. We got some crispy Louisiana fish fry. We got some vermilion snapper and some trigger fish fillets. Oh, you reach over and grab them. What do you think, babe? It's really, really good. <laughs> there, there you go. Well, now that lunch is over, we're gonna do some serious fishing right out there. Here's my fishing lead. I made it in a cupcake tin. It's about two pounds of lead and a little bit of coat hanger. There we go, we got a nice little hook. Big rod, big hooks, big bait. Got that hooked up. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna take that kayak, put my lead and bait on it, and I'm gonna kayak way out there, drop my bait in the ocean, kayak back and get the next one. I'm gonna get a little wet. I'm on raw duty. Looks like it's maybe getting close to halfway. Oh, Eddie's down! Uh-oh. That's cold! Uh, you did it! Didn't get dumped! Now we wait for either a shark or hypothermia to come. Well, I got Tommy to come out and join us if I promised him I'd keep him warm. <laughs> yeah. Promise is a promise. Got to keep the boy happy. I also promised him that I'd let him reel in any of the fish on the big surf rods on the left. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Tommy saw a bunch of fish swimming right in the waves as they're cresting on the shore. So I went and threw it right into the breakers. He came off, he came off. We'll get another one. There was tons of them. Like it, like top, top, top. It's a pompano. That's a Florida pompano. That's cool. When they're bigger, they're good to eat. Go over here. Eat. Run! 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 Another Florida pompano. Look at that bend in the rod. All right, let's see what it is. There we go, got a little double, two kingfish. Look, really did, look at this right there. That's the biggest kingfish so far, man. Woo. Good job, let's get him Let's get him back in the water. Oh, I see him, you Woo. got one. Another little kingfish, Woo. Look at this, oh, another sandy little kingfish. Here. Yeah. I think there's one on here. Yeah, there's a shark, Tom. Yeah. 200 pound steel leader connected to that and it broke. Well guys, we caught about eight kingfish, two pompano, and lost one shark. But a good time nonetheless. And uh, I got a sneaky feeling this isn't our last time shark fishing on this trip. We're gonna get one. But I've got kids to get to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's another beautiful day and we have got a lot more adventure planned today. We're gonna do some fishing, of course, and we're going to go see pirate ships. Are you guys ready to see pirate ships? Yeah. Yeah. Come on guys, to the car, to the car. All right guys, so apparently Blackbeard the Pirate's ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, was wrecked near here and they have a bunch of the artifacts from this pirate ship at the North Carolina Maritime Museum. So we're gonna go check out Blackbeard the Pirate's ship. All right, everybody out. As slowly and disorderly as possible. It's a clam rake. Oh, and an eel trap. See the eel inside the eel trap? Yeah, it's a whale's heart cut in half. Isn't that cool? And here's all the different parts of the heart. It's a lead pipe that goes from the toilet into the ocean. So it's it's the poop hole. Yeah, look at the sword, right? Oh, that's See? That's that steel ship. 
Yeah, that's Queen Anne's Revenge. This is all stuff from the pirate ship. Yeah, these are all from, see, oh look, those are bullets. Yeah, and, oh, those are plates. Yay! Tommy, show me, what'd you get? I got a... A pirate hook and a pirate eye patch. <laughs> All right, my scurvy sea dogs, did you have a good time? Yeah. Uh, All right, guys, we're back at the house and we're gonna cook up some more of that fish. I'm going to do a Parmesan encrusted baked vermilion snapper with some sort of lime butter. I'm gonna try to recreate a recipe me and Becca had in the Florida Keys a little while ago. And I'm gonna do a little, some sort of pan seared grouper. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. We got some good Irish butter here. Oh, look at how yellow that is. Little garment masala on the top, salt, pepper. Very simple, very nice. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, good. We've got four vermilion snapper fillets. We're gonna season them with salt and pepper. Then we're gonna put them in panko. We're gonna put a little bit of garment masala, lime zest, and Parmesan cheese on them, and we're gonna bake them. The key lime butter would. All right, there we go. Vermilion snapper baked in panko parmesan cheese with key lime butter and a little bit of scallions and tomatoes. You like that, babe? Was that good? Very good. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Hey, come here, John. Come here. Little white. Aye, aye, boy. Aye, aye, aye boy. <laughs> That'd be a lot better than maggot infested her cat. <laughs> Well, I'm nice and full. I think it's time for round two of shark fishing. Well, me and Becca had a scuba diving spear fishing charter planned for tomorrow, but uh, looks like the weather's gonna cancel that. So uh, I figured I might as well bust out my wetsuit since I'm going kayaking out there. Won't freeze my butt off as bad this time. I get four. There we go, there's another big chunk of bait. Shark fishing is a team sport here and I couldn't do it without my lovely, lovely assistant, Rebecca. Thank you. Ah. Okay, got it. What's the feeling? Oh, Glad you have your wetsuit on? Oh, it's, it's quite pleasant. Halfway out, the wind came off shore pretty aggressively. You were gone a long time. Oh, oh look at that! That's a nice one. That's uh, that's actually a proper kingfish. Whoa. A lot bigger than those babies we've been reeling in. Oh, oh. that's a shark, Jake. Well, darn it, I thought I'd lost my bait. The sharks just grabbed a little bit right here. They didn't really get, grab much. I think I might need smaller bait. That might be a little bit better. I got changed out of my wetsuit and my lovely wife has joined us. It's cold. <laughs> oh, oh, a new species. I think that's a little puppy drum, a little black drum. As the weather gets worse, the fish get bigger. Now that's how you fish with the hook. Can I reel in some of it so I can't hook them up? Little kingfish.
sandbar shark. That's a hefty guy. He feels 300. That was an incredible fight. It took me over 35 minutes to reel that sucker in. I think that was the biggest sandbar shark I've ever caught. That thing felt like it was between 250, 300 pounds. But I'm tired, cold, wet. I'm gonna reel this other rod and get inside. I think I got another shark on here. Yeah, I mean, for being a little guy, he's still pretty respectable. There we go. That looks like another sandbar shark. There you go, that was a small one, but I mean, still, he was a good five feet long. He is respectable. Uh, big thanks to the support crew. God, thanks, Joe, thanks, Becca. Well, good morning, it's 6 a.m. and the weather forecast says it's going to be about 45 degrees and up to 25 mile per hour winds. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get my wife up early, drag her out in the cold and take her fishing. Yay. To keep our marriage alive, I uh, got these adhesive hand warmers here, and I'm going to cover my wife all over in hand warmers. <laughs> We're in North Carolina, and it's breakfast time, so I made biscuits and gravy. Mm. Biscuits and gravy. All right, guys, it is a brisk November morning, and I'm here with Nick with Chasing Tails, and he is going to take us out fishing for, we're going to go, speckled trout? Speckled trout, red drum. Oh, I've never caught a speckled trout. All right, Becky, you, you ready for the coldest part of the whole trip? Uh, <laughs> it's going to get nippy. Doesn't it? Much better. <laughs> you warm? Okay. Oh, you're okay. Go ahead. So we've got a live shrimp here. Yep. Tide's coming in right here. So we're just gonna throw it out there and just let it get on the bottom and just hold it. Just waiting for the fish to roll in with the tide. Oh, there we go. I feel warmer already. Actually, it looks kind of like a catfish. It is a catfish, believe it or not. I'm a catfish machine. I can't turn it off. <laughs> Look at that. I swear this looks like a white catfish. The white catfish are native to the brackish water tributaries on the east coast. They have heads kind of like a bullhead, and the anal fin is shorter and has fewer rays than a channel catfish. But I'd have to sit down and actually count the rays to know for sure. I'm gonna just call it a white catfish. Because <laughs> it's too early in the morning to be counting spines on a fish's butt. Pop, pop, let us see it. Kind of drift back a little bit. Kind of work this whole age. Gotcha. Oh. Fish on. Yeah. There. Oh, look at that beautiful trout, babe. Is that right? That's a good size. Yeah, it's just a good solid keeper size yeah. fish, about 16 inch fish. You see, they're two fangs, yellow mouth. <laughs> oh, he's got, he's got fangs. Yeah. What the hell, look at that dude. Oh, that's another beautiful trout. That one looks even beefier than the other one. It's a beautiful speckled trout. Look at that. Hey. Oh, there we go. There we go, fish now. Look at that. Yay! There you go, my first speckled trout. Nice slot red. Nice. Red drum. Awesome fish. These things can get crazy big, but this is a nice one. Oh, Vega. You got one. Here you go, Vega. That's your first redfish. There we go. There we go. We got a double. Another pretty little red. That's a little red. Yeah, yeah, look at that. He's a lot oranger. Well, bam, bam, bam. We just tore that up real quick. But uh, we're going to try to get some more species. 
We, we get a few of these. Nice bend in the rod. The oh, hole. That is a nice black drum. A nice drum. Oh, a sheep's head. A very tasty fish, so that one's a little small probably. Yeah. They eat barnacles and clams, oysters. Bye bye, buddy. Another lovely black sea bass. Or pig fish, you might say. Oh, a pig fish! All right, we might keep this one and give us a try. Make a sea bass. Oh, you're, you're getting lots of chunky black sea bass. Mm -hmm. You're the queen of the black sea bass. Another pig fish. Oink, oink. Little pig fish. You make a little oinky noise. Oh, back out! Oh, I got water. You got a flounder! Flounder. It's a, well, that's a summer. That's a summer flounder? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Mr. Ugly. Oh, look at this. Little toad fish. Oyster toad. Oyster toad. Put biting my pliers. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> no sea bass. No sea bass. <laughs> A little black bass. Oh, an even smaller black bass. Look at their jaw right here. They can make it flare blue right there. And then you kind of look at that. You kind of turn it in the light. That is so pretty. Sweet. Oh, black bass. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what happened. Look at that. A lovely flounder. Well guys, this has been an awesome day. I've lost count of how many fish we caught. I think we got nine different species of fish and best of all, I got to do it with my wife here in the boat. Love you, babe. Well, we threw back most of our fish, but we kept a couple of those speckled trout and that hogfish. So uh, we gotta go clean up our fish and we got some more cooking to do. You have fun, babe? I had a good time. I'm much warmer now, it helps. <laughs> I lost count of how many fish we caught. I mean, a lot. I think we caught a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Electric powered scaler. Holy mackerel. Yeah, somebody gave me that. And I've been thinking of them ever since. So. <laughs> yeah, follow that melody. Full of shrimp and minnows. Oh man. Yeah. Well, Nick, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, it does a great job. Listen, if you guys are down here and you want to catch a bunch of these inshore fish, come here to Chase and Tails, ask for Nick, and he'll take you out there. That's I'll, right. ma I'll make sure to put a link down in the video description to the website and contact info. All right. Thank you guys. All right, thank you again. Thank you. Enjoy it. <laughs> Feels good to have the heat on, doesn't it, babe? Feels really good. I'm very hungry. You want some donuts? Yeah. All right, let's get donuts. All right, guys, we're at the flip flop donut shop here, and uh, we are about to increase our caloric intake for the day. Oh my goodness, this is so naughty. Wait for everybody, or should I eat one? Eat one. Uh, smells good. This might be the apple cider one. Hey, boys. Hey, we wait. Donuts. All right, I go like for it. Like what it. do you think? By popular request, I'm gonna fry up some grouper, and we're gonna do some fish and chips. Going. Yeah, that's your right. Ooh. There you go. Thank you. You got grouper fish and chips. Got some of the sweet chili sauce and mayo mix. That's gonna be what we dip our fries and uh, fish in. Not traditional, but it's very good. What? They can strip naked. Hey Tom, where are we headed? We're heading to a fishing pier. 
And as you can see, Tom is really leaning into the pirate theme here at the Outer Banks. Arr. If you're new to fishing saltwater, you might want to check out these fishing piers. We're here at the Bogue Inlet Fishing Pier, and uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch something. Yeah, that'd be great. Nice thing about learning how to fish on a fishing pier is they've got a tackle shop right at the end of the pier so you can get everything you need. And you got lots of people around so you can see what other people are doing, what's biting, and you can learn really quick. One thing you learn really quick about fishing piers is how far out you go affects what kind of fish you catch. So you can catch certain types of fish right in the surf and in the swells. Some you catch over the sandbars, some you catch among the pilings, others want deep open water. As you walk down the pier, you'll notice that people are fishing for different types of things and reeling in different types of fish. There we go, Tom. Oh. Ooh, that's actually, it's toasty here. Yeah, I got a little hot chocolate, got a spot out of the wind. This might be okay. Little spot kingfish rig. Okay. Anyway, put it over the edge and you just drop it down straight down. That right there is a pinfish. There we go, that's a pinfish, a really popular bait fish. That's about as big as they get. They love to steal bait. You're free. There he goes. Look at that. Look at that giant ray down there. Oh, look at that, he's coming right for us. Oh. Yeah, he almost hit the line. Pull him up, see what we got. Look at this. That, that right there is a citation pinfish. There you go. With missiles. So how you doing? Are you cold? Yes. Do you want to go in? Yes. Okay. Well, did you have a blast, Tommy? Yar, I have a blast in me time. Yar. You know, we're gonna do a little more sightseeing and keeping with the whole fish theme of this trip, we're going to the aquarium. Guys, did you have fun at the aquarium? Yeah. yeah. Now would you like to go in the hurricane simulator? I did. Ah! That's, that's like the weakest hurricane ever. That was only 78 miles per hour. All right, guys, to the car. You guys have a good time? Yeah. yeah. All right, you ready for a five hour drive back home? No. No. Travel montage, activate. Well guys, we made it back home and we had a wonderful trip full of wonderful food. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride. If you wanna see more travel and adventure videos, check out our travel and adventure playlist. If you wanna see more catch and cook videos, check out our catch and cook video playlist. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.